Every so often, you're greeted with an opportunity. And in this video, we are going to be talking about one that I felt was a pretty big chance that ended up passing by the Philadelphia Flyers. Now, full disclosure, I am pre-recording this video earlier in the week. I'm planning scheduling this video to be uploaded sometime on Saturday, November 25th, but I am recording this on the morning of November 21st. I'm going on a trip, so I do have to pre-record some stuff for the weekend. But today we're talking about a topic that actually has been on the back burner for a while, but we've never really gotten around to it until now, mostly because there are other things that I want to talk about, and quite frankly, this is one of those topics where you don't really need to talk about it right away, like you could kind of let it fester for a little bit before really exploring it. So today what we're going to do is talk about the third overall pick in the 2022 NHL Entry Draft. Let's talk today about the Arizona Coyotes and Logan Cooley. Mostly because when Cooley went third overall to the Coyotes, a lot of people thought of this as a huge surprise pickup. Not necessarily because Cooley at three was the craziest, most out of this world idea, but because you had yourselves the first overall projected Shane Wright still available on the board. Now, we have made our few videos over the past few years, especially back when the 2022 draft concluded, asking why Shane Wright slipped so far down. And the answer, if you wanted the Spark Notes version, is pretty simple. Number one, the Montreal Canadiens thought that Slavkovsky was more valuable than Wright straight up. Number two, Simon Nemec, hey, the Devils did not need Wright. They have Hughes, they have Hishier, they needed right-handed defensive prospects, and Simon Nemec was the cream of the crop. And then you have yourselves third overall, Arizona. All speculation back in this time frame pretty much said that they didn't really expend any resources into exploring and really diving into Shane Wright's profile as a player, mostly because they might have thought that Wright would have been taken in the top three. As a result, the Coyotes put most of their attention and scouting onto Cooley, and after exploring his game a little bit more and diving really deep into what makes him so special, they ended up saying, yeah, we'll just take Cooley over Wright. We're more confident in him. We know him more. We believe more so in this guy who's growing up in the American system and a player that we could keep our eyes on because he'll be just playing over there in Minnesota with the Golden Gophers. Now, the thing is, when it comes to Cooley being taken a third, there was a big conversation as to how the Philadelphia Flyers actually got involved. And it all comes from the mouths of Logan Cooley himself. You see, Cooley made an appearance on the Spit and Chicklets podcast back in October. This is almost a month ago. And the video clip posted on the Twitter by the Spit and Chicklets account goes over the little snippet where Cooley mentions how the Philadelphia Flyers almost got up to trade for him. Take a look at this article in the Hockey News that summarizes everything we need to know. Here is how Logan Cooley almost became a Flyer. During the 2022 draft, the Flyers were a team that had interest in Cooley before the Coyotes ultimately selected him. This summary article was written by Remy Masti and will be linked in the description if you want to go ahead and read it. Also, the link is going to be in the description to the Cooley audio from Chicklets if you wanted to go ahead and listen to the clip yourself. But essentially, this is the quote from Cooley, I had a lot of great meetings with Arizona, so I thought, you know, if I would get down to three, that, you know, I'd have a good chance of going there. But you know... I met with the Philadelphia Flyers, I think it was like 20 minutes before the draft two, and I think they were trying to trade up, so I didn't know exactly what was going to happen. Now that is a very simple quote, the you knows per 60 is off the charts right there, but when it comes to the Philadelphia Flyers and what they had at the table, when you acknowledge that they tried to trade up for Logan Cooley minutes before the draft even began, things get really interesting when you kind of figure out what happened a year after that. Mostly because Philadelphia in the 2022 draft had themselves the fifth overall pick, so just two spots down from the Arizona Coyotes and Logan Cooley, that in which was used to select Cutter Gauthier. Now, Gauthier, as we've documented over the past few months, has been a very good prospect. He's in BC right now. He's over a point per game, and he has been a very good power forward sniper-like guy. Big dude, 6'2", 194, left-handed left wing center, 
And Cutter Goche certainly is one of these top-tier prospects that the Flyers have in their system. However, if their main target actually happened to be Logan Cooley instead, me thinks that there actually is a pretty good idea behind that mindset. Mostly because if you take a look at what the Flyers are dealing with right now, you want to talk about the growth, you want to talk about the young guys, you want to talk about the long-term future. Yeah, everybody talks about Cutter Goche, everybody talks about Tyson Forrester, you've got Matvey Mishkov in the wings, but these guys are all wingers. Centers, when it comes to that, you've got Sean Couturier, who has already been involved in a bunch of trade rumors himself, You've got Ryan Paling, who hasn't really been the most amazing player out there. Scott Lawton is on this team, not to mention Morgan Frost, a guy who's gone through some serious developmental problems with the Flyers, both in terms of his on-ice effort and the way the Flyers are using him. There have been so many conversations about him being trade bait, potentially being sent away, this and that, and for me personally, I've said this multiple times over the past few months, but I've always been a believer in Frost. He was a good offensive player last year, he had started to get healthy scratched by the Flyers recently, and... Overall, it really doesn't look like Frost is going to be a guy who fits into the long-term mold of what the Flyers have and what they want to bring. So, if this idea that Frost wasn't going to be their mainstay center long-term was already present back in 2022, if a year and a bit ago, the Flyers were already uncertain as to whether or not Frost would be that guy. It would make so much sense to me if they saw this Logan Cooley opportunity and said, hey, we gotta try to trade up to get that guy. Like, if we send over fifth overall and maybe a prospect or something, maybe we send over fifth overall and Morgan Frost to get Logan Cooley. Who knows? Like, that changes what exactly it is we're doing with our centers. It gives us more time to focus on the future because we don't have to attend to what is going on now. And if you have yourselves a pairing of, let's say, Logan Cooley and whichever other winger you're able to take in the 2023 draft, like Matvey Mishkov, that could be a match made in heaven. Now, at the time of recording this audio, as I said, it is the middle of the week. It's going to be uploaded in a few days here. Logan Cooley has 12 points in 18 games for the Coyotes. He's on pace for 55 points, and he has been a really good offensive contributor, both in the NCAA and in the NHL. He's got a better point production metric than Morgan Frost had last year, which kind of puts into perspective just how good Cooley has been. And based off of the talent profile, I mean, we all saw what Cooley was able to do as a member of the NTTP back in 2021-2022. It's why he went so high in the draft in the first place. If the Philadelphia Flyers already had their eyes set on a puck-handling, dangling, offensively gifted playmaker like Logan Cooley in that draft year, it would make so much sense to me if they wanted to go out there and make a trade with fifth overall to go up to that third overall spot to take Cooley instead. Not to disrespect Cutter Goche or anything, but Cooley is the better prospect, and he is the better young guy. I wouldn't be surprised if at the end of their careers, Cooley had much more points than Cutter Goche had per season and just in total. Not to disrespect the skills and the attributes that Cutter Goche has that Cooley does not. Obviously, Goche is bigger, he's more physical, he's more of a power forward type of guy who drives to the net. Logan Cooley is a lot more deceptive and skilled. They're different players, right? But if you were to choose one, and try to fill out the rest of your lineup, considering the guys you already have, I do think that Logan Cooley would be a much more foundational piece. And if the Philadelphia Flyers were so interested to the point that they were talking to Cooley minutes before the draft saying, hey, we like you a lot, we're conducting another interview with you 20 minutes before the draft program is actually going to start, we have the fifth overall pick and we're going to talk to you even though you're projected to go in the top three. Like, maybe... Just maybe, the Philadelphia Flyers were only talking to Cooley because they wanted to talk to everybody. Maybe they're talking to Cooley because they think, hey, if he's available at five, yeah, we'll take him. Like, we really like this guy. Maybe it's just a complete innocuous thing like that. But at the end of the day, I mean, everybody knew that Cooley was going to go somewhere in the top three at least. So having this idea of Philadelphia at five talking to him before the draft, yeah, Cooley kind of said it himself. He feels like the Flyers were interested in trading up for him. It's just unfortunate that their plans did not come to fruition. So if you're a Philadelphia Flyers fan, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about the idea that Cutter Goche may not have been your team's main target back in 2021, and that Logan Cooley might have been that guy instead? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.